I'm Patty Murray Smith, Rob's wife, and I'm in charge of our educational outreach here at FWG. You may know that we've held two seminars and in-house workshops over the past few months. They've been really successful with people coming from all over the world uh, with amazing feedback. The only complaint we've had is that people haven't been able to get here to participate. So we've had an idea for our next one, which is to hold a live event via YouTube where people can participate and work along to make a battery with Rob. The event is going to be held on the 27th of October 2018. It will be from 4.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. UK time. You'll have to work out what that is in your time zone, I'm afraid. And it will be three hours long, but it will include 30 minutes of the theory seminar to start, two hours of guided experimentation, and then 30 minutes for Q&A and feedback. We'll be monitoring the comments as we go along so that if you have questions and, uh, as, as it, the seminar progresses, Rob can answer them. And we also thought that in order for you to be able to actually make the battery as you went along, that we would have to provide the basic kits of the materials that you would need. So from the 1st of October, the kits will be available via our web shop at www.workinginc.co.uk and there's a link in the description to take you straight there. Now Rob's going to go through the kit with you because he's the one that can pronounce all those things far better than I can. Thanks. Thank you, Patty. So, as Patty said, the problem has been with the workshops is that people just can't get here. Now obviously I get written to quite a lot of people saying, help me, it's going wrong. And it's impossible for me to help everybody individually because there's just too many guys to help. So the idea sprang out from those two things that we put together the kit and do this guided workshop with live comments where we can give that help where that help's needed. Now, I could suggest to you all the things that you would need to get. To be honest, they cost you a fortune because you have to buy big lots of so what we've done is put together a kit that is going to be exactly the same kit that I use in the workshop. So the kit I have will be the kit you have. And you'll have everything in that kit that you're going to need to be able to follow through on that workshop, with the exception of a few items, the kind of big items that we just wouldn't get for you. So things like pad supply. Anyway, here's the kit. And as I said, the kit has just everything you want in it. So the current collectors are going to be zinc and graphol. So we provide you with some zinc and we provide you with some graphol. It's going to be anode, it's going to be a cathode. What we need to do with that, obviously, is put an active material on there. And the active material that we're going to create is zinc hexosamide ferrate. Now, you can't buy zinc hexosamide ferrate, you have to make it. And when you make it, we want to make nanoparticles. So we're going to make some zinc hexosamide ferrate nanoparticles to use as the cathode material in our beautiful battery. And we've provided you, of course, with the things that you're going to need. So there's a bit of zinc sulfate here, and there's a little bit of potassium hexocyanide ferret here. We'll be mixing those two. That will be making your um, cathode material. This will also be your electrolyte. So you've got your cathode material and your electrolyte provided for you. The other thing is that's non-conductive. So we need to put a bit of a conductive additive in there. So there's a bit of graphite there to add in with the zinc hexocyanide ferret nanoparticles when we make them. That'll make it conductive. Obviously, we've got to glue the whole thing together, so we've got a bit of CNC SBR binder here for you. So you mix all those three things together, and we'll be making the material, apply it to our um, cathode material, and then that will be the battery basically made. Obviously, you need a bit of equipment on there for that, so there's a bit of filter paper. You're going to need to provide a filter funnel. Um, we'll be using something, probably a tea strainer actually, or just fold it up. There's a bit of filter paper, a nice little stirrer for you to get everything stirred together so you can measure things and a lovely bit of the cell guard that we're going to use as the actual separator. So all that stuff is that. Got a um, pair of gloves because a lot of this stuff is non-toxic. It's pretty dirty. It's, it's just pain in the neck. You're washing your hands. Always better to have your PPE ready and get used to PPE. So provide you with some gloves. Then obviously what you're going to need to do then is test it. So we've given you a beautiful little electric motor and I use these all the time. Put a little propeller on it. It's an inductive load and it gives you a resistance that your battery is going to drive. And it's awesome to make these little batteries and see it drive this for absolutely ages. So we're going to give you a little moment of propeller. Some people like to light things up. We're going to make a couple of batteries. So we've got a three, uh, three volt forward LED. So you can power up the LED and a couple of crocodile clips so you can connect everything together. 
Now, the only other things that you're going to need is, like I say, you're going to need some kind of filter funnel or tea strainer or something like that, and some kind of container. So we'll obviously use a beaker, but I mean, a glass will do just as well in some way, measuring out so that you've got the right amount of water. Beakers are great because they've got a measurement on them. I got this one actually from a local shop, and it's a, a kitchen um, beaker. So you can actually buy these as a kitchen beaker, or you can use a glass and a, and a measuring cylinder of some description, like a, a jug with markers on it, something like that. You're going to need to get that. The other thing you're going to need really is a power supply. Now I have a benchtop power supply. Benchtop power supplies come in a whole range of sizes and a whole range of costs. If you don't want to spring out or you don't have a benchtop power supply, you can just use a normal battery. This is a D-cell, so it will go lots and lots of times. You can use a double A, you can need quite a few double A's, or one D-cell, one C-cell, something like that. That's going to be a minimum requirement for charging your device. That will get the whole thing going. If you want to actually look at some of the numbers that you're getting, obviously you're going to need some way of measuring that. Now I use this equipment here, but you could use a digital multimeter just as well. And these DMMs, they're about £10 or so, something like that. So you're going to need to acquire a little bit of equipment beyond the kit yourself, like say a beaker, cell, meter, filter. And then everything else is provided for you. And we'll be doing that where I'll take those things out of the kit with you, We'll do it step by step, any problems you've got, the questions will pop up, and we'll be there to answer it for you. So that's about all you need, that's what it's going to be about. These, as Patty says, are going to be available for sale. I'm going to hand you back to Patty to tell you a bit more about it. Hi, back again. Rob's gone through the kit with you, he's told you about the kind of battery that you're going to make, so it's just up to me to encourage you to participate and to remind you that the date is the 27th of October 2018, the time is 4.30 to 7.30 p.m. UK time, and that the kits will be available from the 1st of October from our web shop on www.workinginc.co.uk, which is down in the description, and we hope to see you there. Thank you.